Hey guys, Benny the Comic Historian here, and I'm gonna talk to you about the young animal line called the Cave Carson and the Cybernetic Eye. And today we're gonna be talking about, what issue number is this? Oh, there it is, 10. We're gonna talk about 10. If you're wondering, Warner Brothers did send me this comic book, but if you know anything about me, I will not talk about stuff that I do not enjoy myself, and Cave Carson is the book that I'm enjoying the most out of the Young Animal line. So if you, just to catch you up briefly as to what Cave Carson is, this is like a multiversal crazy adventure about a guy who used to be a big well-known hero who's now trying to teach his kid and his companions and a guy with a hockey mask that likes to just chop people in half and cut them up known as Wild Dog on this crazy adventure going through the multiverse. We start our adventure by using the mole, their device to go into the crust of the earth and find a fungus that was leaching into people's brains and hacking into them and trying to take over the world. When he stopped it, it jumped through the multiverse and now we've been on a multiverse adventure where he's seen multiple versions of himself, multiple versions of the fungus, multiple things moving around and going on and we've entered into the question of should he just grab a multiverse version of his wife or family members that have died and bring them back into the world so that he can enjoy his life with his daughter and his wife. That's where we're at right now, and we finally, finally have caught up to the Whisperer, which is what we've now dubbed the Fungus. I think we may have called it that earlier in the issues. I was just calling it the Fungus, and this issue I noticed they actually called it the Whisperer. So I like having a name for it, because calling it the Fungus is kind of weird in general. But it is the Fungus. So anyway, as you can see on the cover of this, we're fighting against more trees, more funguses, stuff like that. We've finally come to the conclusion of the area. Cave Carson now has his cybernetic eye back, and really cool scene, it actually crawled out of his head and was walking away at one point, and he had to go chase down the eye. But it's giving him glitches. He's seeing things that shouldn't be there, such as his dead wife and stuff like that. He's also starting to question a lot of stuff, and in this issue, we have the biggest shocker yet. There's a multiverse version of a son that he didn't know he had. Cave Carson Jr. is now joined in and conveniently he has all of the answers to the Whisperer. He has an antidote that was invented by Batman. He knows where the, the leader of the entire thing is. He's gonna lead his father and his sister and the entire companion group over to stop the Whisperer. But spoilers, I'm gonna spoil it at this point. Guess what? It's not what it seems. I mean honestly when his son came forward I was kind of like this is way too good to be true. There's no way that this is legit, and guess what? It's not at all. Yep, no, Cave Carson Jr., while he claims to be on the same side as Cave Carson, has his own goal, and the goal was to revive someone at the end of the book. Now, I, honestly, I, they didn't give a name, they just said that she's alive, and what it is is like a robot version of somebody. I'm gonna assume it's his wife because in this multiverse version we have the multiverse like bearded older version of Cave Carson, the father of the Cave Carson Jr. from that multiverse world. The story is super confusing if you don't know what's going on and it's very difficult for me to explain to you what's happening if you haven't been following Cave Carson. But overall, it is one of my favorite books in the Young Animal line and you should definitely be reading it. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this latest plot twist, this unknown woman who's been revived, who we can pretty safely assume is his wife, and if I'm wrong, well I apologize, that's what I think it is right now. But what do you think about this twist? Do you think that she's gonna be useful? Do you think that we can take out the Whisperer? Because part of the problem here is our Cave Car Carson was going off to stop the Whisperer when he got captured and his eye was taken and they revived this woman. It's confusing, it's crazy, and I love it. So don't forget to subscribe to the DC Fans channel to keep up the date on what's going on with your favorite comic books. And you can also follow me over at Comic Story and on my channel. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you next time right here.